have the live band uh, all the way from Maryland, and we have a famous entertainer, the Obama impersonator. So we have quite a list, and we have more cultural dance for you tonight. Uh, but before we go into the next, which is the other cultural display, uh, I'd like to give you a brief uh, background on the part of Africa I'm from. I'm from West Africa, Nigeria to be precise. Now the country I come from is called uh, the most populous black nation in the world. Uh, we are blessed with human and natural resources. Uh, history and census says one out of every five black person you see is a Nigerian. Because at home, we are 150. And in the diaspora, we believe that there are about 30 million Nigerians. So, and the unique thing about us is that every country you go in the world, there is a Nigerian there. Now, people are starting using that as a standard, that any country you go in the world, and you don't find a Nigerian, you have to leave that place. That means there's no money to be made. <laughs> As long as there's money to be made in that community, Nigerians are there. And if you want to do business with Nigerians, it's the easiest way to know Nigerians. In the midst of a lot of black people, easiest way to know my people is very simple. Just ask us a question. Nigerians are known to answer questions with questions. <laughs> like for instance, if you see an American and ask her, excuse me, are you an American? They just answer, it's like, yeah, I'm American, man. What's that, man? How you doing, man? I'm American all day, all night. You see, you know. You see a British ask them, uh, excuse me, are you from Great Britain? You say, yes, I'm from Great Britain. How did you know that? I live in England all my life. I live in Liverpool. Would you like to come there? You know, they will answer you straight. See a Nigerian ask, excuse me, are you in Nigeria? They say, what is the problem? Are you asking? Who asked you? You ask them one question, they answer with three questions. That's easy. Nigerians are very easy, easy to know. And, you know, another way to know Nigerians, it is taxi drivers. Like when other people go to other countries and they get away from the airport and they get in the car, the way you know other people in other parts of the world is when they get in the car, they like to appreciate the aesthetics. They look at buildings, trees, monuments, and they are excited. Not with Nigerians. Nigerians only look at one thing, the meter in the car. <laughs> Why you are driving? They say, do you like the money? I say, no. I'm looking at the meter. It is ten dollars from the airport to where I'm going. You better be fast. <laughs> we are always calculating. My people are just unique in their own way. And for my brothers in West Africa, I mean, the ones are from Ghana. Here. Anybody from Ghana? All right. Oh, plus, I give them a round of applause. Give Ghanaians a round of applause. <laughs> Ghanaians are unique. You will know they are Ghanaians the moment they open their mouth. Because of the way they pronounce their own stuff, they have a special kind of English. <laughs> like a typical Nigerian, if you ask him, oh, Where are you from? Uh, when, how did you get there? In Nigeria, we say, Ah, I got there by aeroplane, he landed, and I went to the airport. <laughs> ask a Ghanaian, Oh, I'm from Guinea, I came by aircraft. <laughs> I landed by United Airlines. Charlie, and every man in Ghana is Charlie, everybody has one in Charlie. Charlie, I came home. Ask them what they do for a living. Oh, I am a mess. <laughs> And my father is a doctor. He's a doctor, a doctor. No, they are old. They have to open their teeth. He's a doctor. Yeah. <laughs> Give him a round of applause. Those are my people from West Africa. Anybody from Liberia here? Anybody from Liberia? Okay, Liberia are like Yoruba people. The easiest way to know Liberia is that any sentence they make, they must end with go. Oh. Where are you from? I'm from Liberia. Oh. <laughs> What about your father? He's a man, oh. Your mother, she's a woman, oh. So where do you live in Miami, oh? Those are Liberians. You know, so all African countries have, you know, their unique ways of doing things. Well, as the night goes on, uh, we'll get to know more about uh, our people. But um, right now, I think uh, the Banglobo dance, they have a, another presentation. Please give them a round of applause. I hear they all stand back. But logo dance. We have another uh, cultural display. Uh, where are they? Are they here? Uh, in case you've noticed for our brothers and sisters here in America, I know that you know most dances in America is you know that area. Opening of eyes, sometimes they are dancing which you think they are. That's why when you see us, we are very fit. Because you know our dance is like 
aerobics, acrobatic display, opening up. No, they're just greeting you. Are we ready? So ladies and gentlemen, these are our kids that are born and raised in America, but we're trying to teach them the culture of Africa. Because you see, Africa will teach our kids from when they are small. Like in Africa, in Nigeria, from when your child is two, your child already knows what he or she wants to become in the future, right? Not in America. I notice that in America they are so relaxed that your child can be seven or even ten or even fifteen and not know what they want to be. I asked my four-year-old daughter, I said, baby, what would you like to do when she grow up? When you grow up? You know what she said? I like to be a hamburger. <laughs> and I tried to convince her, don't you want to be something bigger than that? Say yes, a big man. <laughs> I just got tired. I asked, I thought it was just my daughter, so I asked another boy in church. I said, you come, what would you like to be? He said, I would like to be a superman. I said, no, so my daughter doesn't have a problem. All of you, in Africa, from two years old, I already knew what I wanted to be. It's just that the environment can change it. When they asked me when I was, what do you want to be? I said, a doctor. 10 years later, I changed it. I said, a traditional doctor.